Hello focus Leon here, I just woke up so I'm a bit sleepy but I'm three months on testosterone today I did not think I would be here you know even just like four months ago it felt surreal to be in that position where I was going to be at my endocrinology appointment in just like a month and then all of a sudden I'm here three months on testosterone I have had a lot of changes the last month I'm going to have to look at my notes in my phone every now and then so like that the whole view here, the outline, the framing will probably change a bit during the video but that's because a lot has happened, I don't know if you can notice anything but I'm going to start with a few things I can remember so first of all, arse hair, like not just directly on my arse, obviously there's some there as well but like the arse crack here, I thought it was a lot like within the first two months but it's practically doubled the last month which is fine really I don't care that much um, but I do have to <laughs> this is a bit TMI but that's the point of these videos because I feel like a lot of videos don't go like that into depth so I do have to wipe more carefully carefully and thoroughly every time I go to the toilet now because if I just leave like a bit we down there you know it's gonna rub and it's gonna give me just it's gonna be sore so I have to like wipe more carefully because the arse hair for some reason you know it makes it a bit more difficult to just get everything so I have to wipe more carefully now so that's another like unexpected change from tea actually like the arse hair and being sore if I don't wipe well enough after going to the toilet to pee but I also have like I think differences in the way that my skin feels because it feels a bit more harsh now especially here on my throat I think that might be due to like hair follicles coming through as well also my Adam's apple but yeah so my skin has changed especially on my thighs arms throat yeah my throat has changed a lot I like the way it feels here last month but yes, so my <laughs> Adam's apple has come through a bit. Someone said that in my last video, which I'm really happy about because obviously that's the look I want. I want to look more masculine. I have had more veins as well. Like they're coming through on my arms, like on the underside here as well. I used to have one here when just from working out before. And then the last month I've got some more here on my upper arms and then my forearms, which is really cool. I like having a more veiny look. Also, I have like veins on my fingers now, which is cool, you know? I thought I would just, I looked in the mirror the other day and I was like, do I have wrinkles on my hands now? But no, it's just veins, which is cool. I like that. Also, my face has changed in the last month. I'm pretty sure at least. Uh, I think like I'm shaping, shaping up, no? But I'm just starting to look more masculine in general in my face. And obviously my voice, I'm gonna do the voice update now. Hi, my name's Leon and this is my voice pretty. Hey, my name's Leon Bell and this is my voice one month on T. Hi, my name's Leon and this is my voice two months on T. Hey, I'm Leon and this is my voice three months on T. I don't know if it's changed from the last month. I'm going to have to look back at that when I edit this video, but it's definitely changed since starting T. I it was on FaceTime with a friend last night and she was like, man, your voice. Oh, so that's fun, you know, that people notice differences. Another big change on T is that I'm sort of starting to just tone up naturally on just by myself without having to work out much. I do still work out and gyms have been closed so I only have my home gym. So, you know, I've tried to do my best and stay active but it's a diff bit difficult of course. But still though, I am noticing results and that's really fun. Uh, especially my legs, I'm toning up a bit and... Yes, that's cool. I think also my sister said that my eyebrows have filled out a bit. I've got some pictures here. Thing is, I used to dye my eyebrows. So I've told mine that this one is darker. And like, no, this one is darker and this one. But that's me now, three months on tea. And also, leg hair has... It's grown. It's grown so much since starting tea. And my snail trail as well has... I think it's become like a bit more snail traily. Uh, so, you know, I'm happy about that. Um, also, for like bottom growth, I don't know if 
it's really grown a lot the last month because I get my tee shots now every 12 weeks. Yeah, so obviously it's going to like slow down the curvature, the half-life of the tee shot is going to like slow down a bit. So probably like most of the changes will be at the beginning of the tee shot, but obviously changes are still going to happen because tea is being introduced to my body. So, you know, um, I'm just really looking forward to my next tee shot. That will be my third tee shot because my first two shots were six weeks apart. Um, yeah, but so for bottom growth, it hasn't really developed much, I think, in the last month. But I noticed now that like when I come, it will shrink up a bit like a regular dick. So I don't know if that's like a thing, but obviously there's like... I think now there's a big difference from when I'm hard and not hard, like not turned on. So my my dick is beginning beginning to act more like a real dick, even though it's obviously not like a cystic, which is cool. I love that for me uh, because you know bottom growth is really helping with bottom dysphoria and just you know feeling less. Female, which is what I want. That's exactly what I want. I'm just going to like start doing like a muscle update as well. So I put on some KT tape now. You can see. So this is me now. Like if you just check out my muscles. That's me now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to like probably start. Sorry, coffee bub. I've just had like a cup of coffee in the morning before filming this video because I wanted to just get some energy in before trying to make this video. But yeah, so that's me now. Uh, at three months of testosterone. I'm really happy with the changes so far. Helped me so much with dysphoria, especially my voice. Like again, like I think there might be a god or something because this voice, a blessing. <laughs> at least you know not to like suck my own cock, but. I do love my voice and just the way my body is changing is really, really good. By the way, look at my new tattoos. Like if you check out my coffee cup and my angel and an umbrella. Yeah, I got more tattoos. I'm going to get more, of course, uh, but that's it for now. So I actually forgot one change and it's been that I've had issues with spots this month. It was really bad for like a couple of weeks. I don't know why really. Also, oh my god, I don't know why I forgot this, but like Shark Week stopped, so like... Fuck yeah, fuck that shit. I no longer have to deal with that absolute buffoonery that I should never have had to go through in the first place. But, um... Yeah, so like, goodbye to that, and uh, let's... Let's hear it for uh, no more Shark Week. I'm so relieved. Uh, that was actual mental torture every time it happened, so... Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really happy about that because I think from now on I won't have to think about it ever again, which is a relief. Um, I'm, I'm so grateful for that. But yeah, so I had some issues with spots, especially on my chest here. And also my back has gotten a bit more spotty, especially if I wear my binder. As now that I've got a summer job, I do have to wear my binder more because I want to pass, you know, at my job. It's a bit weird because my, my boss refers to me as Mr. Bell when I come to work, like, morning Mr. Bell, and I'm like, hey, uh, because nobody there knows that I'm trans as far as I know unless they've seen me online. And it just feels really good that people don't know. I'm just a guy there, and it feels really nice. Uh, people don't know I'm trans either. They know nothing about me. And except for, you know, they get to know me as me, and which is a really good feeling. They just... But still though, when like customers come in and people refer to me as he and oh, can I get some help from you young lads or something, it, it still catches me a bit off guard because I think I can't really comprehend how well I really pass it, at least with clothes on, like it, of course now I'm going to like be clocked with like just wearing KT tape, but wearing clothes and everything, you know, I pass, especially with my voice and it's strange because I don't know, I think it's gonna take some time getting used to passing 100% of the time and not being clocked or anything. Uh, but it's a good feeling and I, you know, I feel like I can breathe more easily now, meeting new people, just getting to know them as me and being trans, you know, it's not really related to anything in my life, at least when around new people. Uh, obviously, if I'm going to like date or something, it's going to be relevant 
but I can just meet people, become friends, ask me, and that's something I think is a bit invaluable. It's it's something I appreciate so much. Yeah, I will see you next month. <laughs> I'm going to make more videos. My next video will probably be a review video of the Paxis Sports Binder. Uh, so look forward to that. And also let me down down below. Let me know down below if you notice any other changes. If you want any other videos, like translated or not, I don't care. I'm going to make them anyways. Uh, but yeah, so like let me know if you notice any other changes. I uh, uh, take care. Stay safe. Eat food, drink water, get some sleep when you need it, and to do focus. Bye.